Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. A big thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support. We really thank you for this platform. And uh, whatever we speak here must happen. And it's really happening. <clears throat> As we speak, it's like William Ruto is determined to clean his government. He has fired all the cabinet secretaries. And by the way, <laughs> I was trying to go through Wikipedia online. I tried to Google Kipchumba Murukomen. What I'm seeing there is that he served as the former cabinet secretary for roads and transport. I tried to search Ezekiel Machogu. The information I find is the former uh, uh, cabinet secretary for education. I tried searching for Nakumincha. What I find there is the former cabinet secretary for health, the Kenya Kwanzaa government. So things change so fast. Ladies and gentlemen, I went through the president's website, president.go.ke. You can also go there. They have immediately cleaned all the cabinet secretaries from the website. And the only person I see here is His Excellency President William Ruto. I see His Excellency Honorable Borigad Gashawa. I see Msalia Mdavadi and Masi Kiru Wanjau, who is the secretary to the cabinet. Those are the only three individuals that are remaining in the president's website. All the cabinet secretaries, their photos and their portfolio has, uh, has been pulled down. Now, today is a history repeating itself. In 2005, after Mwai Kibaki, who had been in office for three years, got humiliated in the referendum that the Orange Democratic Movement opposed. Kibaki was forced to dissolve his cabinet. This is because Raila Odinga campaigned against the referendum. When Kibaki was coming into power, he was transiting from the Moi to Kibaki regime. He promised Kenyans a new constitution. Kibaki, his government, his cabinets, and everyone campaigned for the referendum. But 3.5 million Kenyans voted no for the referendum. 2.5 million Kenyans voted yes, and Kibaki was defeated. In that humiliation, the opposition led by Raila Odinga got power, and Kibaki's cabinet was more divided, just like Ruto's cabinet has been divided. That compelled Mwai Kibaki to start realigning his government. The only people who survived is Moody Awori, the vice president, and the attorney general, who the president had no direct powers to fire him at that time in the old constitution. Now, can you listen to what Kibaki said at that time? Fellow Kenyans, following the results of the referendum, it has become necessary for me as the president of the republic to reorganize my government to make it more cohesive and better able to serve the people of Kenya. Accordingly, in accordance with the powers conferred upon me under the constitution of Kenya, I have directed that the offices of all ministers and all assistant ministers become vacant. Consequently, the occupants of the said offices 
cease to hold their respective offices with the immediate effect. A reconstituted government will be in place within two weeks. Thank you and God bless you. After that of Kibaki, history is repeating itself today. After a humiliating defeat of the finance bill, which Ruto supported, just like 2005, William Ruto and his cabinet and his members of parliament rallied for the finance bill 2024. But Kenyans in large numbers, in millions, through the Gen Z movement, rejected the finance bill 2024 and called measures from government. One, either William Ruto resigns or he agrees to reform. The Gen Z gave him demands. One, withdraw the finance bill, which he did. Two, reconstitute the IEBC, which he did. Three, fire all your cabinet secretaries, which he has done. Now, we are demanding all principal secretaries in government, all of them should be fight. Mandamano Badu. The Gen Z's are here to stay until Kenya reforms 100%. We want now. Ruto has fired the CSS. Next. I don't know why he left him, Salim Dabadi, an unconstitutional position. I don't know why he had to spare him, Salim Dabadi, but we understand. I'll do that in my next analysis tomorrow. Why William Ruto spared him, Salim Dabadi. Now, we now want, after firing the CSS two, next week again on Friday or Thursday, Wednesday, we want another press conference. Fire all the PSS. Next week, but one, another press conference. Dissolve parliament. Why na nyumbani? After IBC has been reconstituted fully. Baadi ya kweka IBC kwa ofisi, tafadhali. We are calling on. You dissolve parliament. We have young boys. We have adolescents who are not worth being in parliament. They should all of them go home. Now, to me, to me, today's actions by William Ruto is a tremendous win by the Gen Z generation. This could have not happened if there was no push from the generations. And I want to say this. And Gen Z listening to me out there. There is no retreat. There is no surrender. As I finish my parting shot. Mwai Kibaki once said. Once you become a leader. You find a privilege to serve the people. Leadership. According to Mwai Kibaki. The let. Is not an opportunity. It is a privilege to serve the people. Now, if you are a leader, <coughs> sorry, if you are a leader, whether elected, appointed, or employed, please, please, serve the people. Do not use that opportunity. To, I remember Moses Kuria telling Kenyans, when we were complaining about the high cost of fuel, Moses Kuria told Kenyans that Enda Muchimbe Visimayenu. I remember Moses Kuria tweeting that those who are praying for my sucking should go and circumcise themselves. That's what he tweeted. I remember Kipchumba Murukomeni meeting a, a man who wanted a job, a driver. And Murukomen arrogantly told that man, 
atupeani kazi hapa you know ladies and gentlemen if you've been trusted in any office kindly wacheni kiburi wacheni maringo power is transient power fades power ends you wake up in the morning you are a cabinet secretary with us with all the security with the cars with an escort with a flag at 10 am in the morning you are walking alone home by foot just a mere kenyan you jet from kenya to paris using government resources with your advisor with your girls with your staff and everything you go to enjoy yourself in paris the following day while in paris basking immediately you are rendered powerless guard is natolewa security narudishwa you come back in kenya an ordinary kenyan this is the kind of kiburi we want to finish in the republic of kenya kama umepewa ofisi kama umepewa kazi tafadhali just know it is for a period of time it is for a season serve those people diligently and the books of history shall remember you god bless you ladies and gentlemen see you in the next video asante ni sana